Do you remember when I made my new giveaway video how I mentioned that I kind of forgot about the boxes coming back? Well, I kind of lied. Well, not really. I didn't tell the whole truth. I kind of forgot that the whole update was coming. I mean, I've had a lot going on recently and I've had way more to focus on than Animal Jam's February update. So uh, yeah, it's currently like six in the morning and I'm getting ready to film my update video, which this is gonna be a lot. You guys are gonna get a burst of content from me because I just uploaded my giveaway. And then before that, I just uploaded a commentary. Now I'm making an update video. And today my um, custom plush of Archie is supposed to be coming. So then there's gonna be an unboxing for that. And then I also have entirely recorded and partially edited another commentary video. So there's gonna be a large burst of KijiCon content. Uh, that being said, howdy folks, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be talking about the February update. To start off with, the Year of the Dragon celebration is finally here. We have, you know, the typical Chinese New Year party, but for whatever reason they haven't changed the name yet, so it still says Year of the Bunny. But we do have the new Year of the Dragon stuff, which consists of re-releases of two old sets, as well as some new dragon-themed den decorations, which look pretty good in my opinion. Also, considering it's the Year of the Dragon, we have a re-release of the Komodo Dragon, which I'm super happy with, um, and yeah, a lot of people are really excited about that. But we also have ongoing a new Jamagram contest, which, I mean, I won the last one, so I'm not sure if I can win again, but I am considering entering with a drawing of a anteater with the text, Why the Long Face? Because I made a joke like that on stream, and now Carrie wants me to do it, and I want to do it, so maybe. We have, of course, all the new Friendship Festival stuff going on, and by new, I mean, you know, stuff that comes every year. We have the Postmaster game, we have the Friendship Party, we have the Pack Run. Um, additionally, for the first time, considering Friendship Points are new, Friendship Points will be doubled for the entirety of the Friendship Festival. Um, so yeah, take advantage of that. But let's talk about the stuff you want to hear, the real meaty stuff. While obviously we might not have dragons yet, I have a feeling they might come out later this month, maybe sometime around the 10th, but we do have our new animal which I can't say I'm a huge fan of. This month we have the Corsac Foxes, which honestly take the same route as the Vipers take with the Pythons. That is, they look a lot like Arctic Foxes, and a lot of people aren't really happy with that. Um, I don't mind too much. I mean, I prefer that over, you know, a usual reskin, um, especially considering the fact that we did get a re-release of the Komodo Dragon this month. I think that this is perfectly fine in my opinion since we got the Komodo Dragon back, and I'm sure there's a lot more in store for this update. But, um, they're essentially a, a slight remodel of the Arctic Fox with some, like, proportion changes, some little bit of model tweaking. I think that it looks fine. Um, I'm not really a fan of it. I find it pretty difficult to decorate, and it, uh, it has eyes that stare into your soul. But apart from that, I'd say that they're okay. I mean, not a favorite of mine. Some people are upset, but I really don't think that it's a big deal. I mean, I would prefer this over a reskin, so I'm pretty happy. New animations would have been nice, but it is how it is. What I'm a little bit less happy with is the new pet, and by new I mean reskinned pet, um, the love dove. I mean, haha, very funny. It's a pun. You might call somebody lovey dovey, you know, for Valentine's Day. I think it's kind of lame though. I mean, sure, we got the re-release of the, you know, love bug, but that happens every February, so it's not like that makes up for it very much. Um, reskin pet, it's lame. It's a lot more lame than the previous reskin pets we got, you know, by that I mean the snowy glider, uh, and I guess the lucky piglet. But we didn't have a piglet in stores outside of the token. But anyways, reskin pet, kinda lame. I'm sure there's gonna be people out there who like it, especially those who enjoy, you know, cutesy aesthetics. So there's gonna be definitely a group out there who enjoys it, but I'm just not really one of them. And then last but not least, for the major update parts anyways, we have the sweet Ferris wheel den, which, okay, I don't like it. <laughs> But that's just because it's not my aesthetic. It is a very well-designed den. I'll put it at that. It is well-designed. It's very cute, and I know that there's going to be people out there who are going to go absolutely, like, feral for it. I can imagine that my friend Pickle is probably going to adore it. Um, it's just not really for me. I'm not a huge fan of pink. I'm not a huge fan of, you know, cutesy stuff. But I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who do really like the den because, objectively, the den is well-designed, in my opinion. The little interactive feature with the Ferris wheel is also really cute. Um... I can't say the same about the den music. Like, I'm not usually one to talk about the den's music because usually it's like a one note, you know, whatever. I'm gonna put a master track on instead. But that den music is like, 
stand outingly bad for me. Like, give it a listen real quick. Listen, I know it's den music and not many people are gonna care about it. Like, I mean, I don't even really care. You know, I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna use a master track. But if that is not the most repetitive, boring, mind-numbing Animal Jam track I've ever heard, I don't know what is. Okay, so we've gone over everything that's already here, but what do we have to look forward to? We have a couple things. For one, we have the release of a new alpha item, um, which I'm not really a huge fan of how it looks, but I'm sure there's gonna be people out there who do like it. I mean, it's an alpha item. Have your hunting, have fun getting that. But as for what isn't entirely released yet, we saw a few member gifts, which, you know, I think they look pretty okay. But what we have to look really forward to is um, a lot of people might be excited there's going to be a new super box. Um, I'm not really excited. It looks like it might be an ice super box or a diamond super box or a glass super box. Um, either way, it's another one of those super boxes that give you a couple, you know, clothing items as well as uh, specialty pet tokens, which you can use to get, you know, reskinned pets, you know, like the golden pets or the sapphire pets or the galaxy pets. Um, not really a huge fan. Not just because I am getting a little bit tired of the pet token boxes, because I have been the person, you know, that's been going out and buying them every single time, and um, because I've been trying to get, you know, the special effect dinosaurs, but I'm kind of tired of it, I'm kind of over it, um, but I'm sure there's going to be people, people who are super excited to get the new effect animals. Um, not really me, but, you know, I might not buy with one, I might, you know, eat my words and buy one anyways because I'm an Animal Jam um, leech. But yeah, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. And of course, what everyone has been looking forward to and what everyone wants is a new mythological animal. And I do think that there probably will be one this month considering the Year of the Dragon. I feel like if there is going to be one coming this month, it's probably going to come around the 10th of the year because that's when the celebrations officially start in real life. And that is, of course, the day that they listed in the Jamon Journal about, you know, the event happening. So if we're going to get it, it'll probably be around then. I'm really hoping we do, but if we do, I'm also kind of really hoping that there's another brief wave of Albert giving us, you know, wishing tokens. Because obviously they gave us some before unicorns came. And if you didn't get them, it kind of sucked to be you and you had to buy them for real money. But at this point, everybody who has, you know, been hoarding wishing tokens mostly have spent them on unicorns. And of course, you know, that's their own fault for being impulse buyers. I was one of them. But if they're going to release a whole new mythological animal, that would be pretty much guaranteeing that everyone's going to have to buy it with real money, which I don't really think is entirely fair, especially considering that we've had, you know, reskins for the last couple months. And then, you know, additionally, we have a super box this month. So I think that it would be nice to, you know, give out some wishing coins. You know, it's the friendship season. Why not? Who knows? Maybe, maybe that's what's in our uh, friendship gifting box this year from AJHQ. Who knows? Uh, but that being said, generally, my opinion of the update is... I mean, it's okay. I I wouldn't say that it's, like, bad, but it's mid. I'd say that it is better than January's update. January's update was just really, really boring, in my opinion. But um, this update is better. I would say that it is better than last month's update. Um, obviously, with the Friendship Festival, there's already more content that's going to be in it simply because of the celebrations, um, which I always enjoy a good Animal Jam in-game event because I like playing the minigame. I like, you know, gifting people's boxes. If you haven't seen already, there's I'm doing an entire massive giveaway with gifting boxes. Check out the video i'll leave a link in the description but just in general it's an okay update but it's not for me there are some people out there that are going to love this update and this is going to be their peak update because of all of the cutesy stuff but that's just not my personal opinion but it's not bad by any means i'd say the update is pretty good objectively with the amount of content we're getting and all the you know fun stuff um that being said let me know what you think about the update in the comments below and uh yeah i have a lot of com content coming out so if this is a little bit less edited than usual it's probably because i have to crunch editing three videos today and editing a video usually takes me anywhere between two to six hours so <laughs> um here's for the hoping for the best uh i'll see y'all around